Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Phoenix Draconis coming with you with another toy review video. And as you can see, this week's video is something that I that had come in the mail about I want to say about a week or so ago. And this is Kingdoms War for Cybertron Trilogy's Rat Trap. And he is a uh what did they call him oh god i forgot what class figure he was he is a core class there we go a core class figure very small but he looks like he's very articulate now i have seen other reviews on this but this is going to be my first time actually handling him so and uh it's pretty awesome looking now as you can tell, you know, from the artwork on the, uh, on there, I'm going to try and show that off to you a bit, so excuse the glare. But, uh, yeah, it's not, uh, too bad looking. Yeah, I'll show him in his, uh, in his beast mode as your common rat. And, uh, not too bad. Uh, I like, uh, how they, you know, how they try to keep him true to his animation model from Beast Wars so you know it's not too bad I really like it the open window as you can see from certain core class figures uh, at the same time you as you look at the back you see the the product shots on here and that is really awesome looking I really like uh, how they did it with his weapon and everything and in his rat mode so like I said, this is the first time I'm actually handling this figure. I've had him for about a week, but as you can tell, he has yet to have been opened up. So, you know, it's pretty awesome. I'm looking, really, really looking forward to this. So, uh, give me a moment to go ahead and get him out of his packaging. And uh, as always, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and quote Optobotomus. Let's see how cool he really is. All right, there he is, transformed and ready to rock and roll. And he's not a bad looking figure. I mean, yes, he is small, but again, even in even in Beast Wars, he was always small. Uh, <clears throat> of course, uh, you know, he was, you know, uh, a master marksman, uh, demolition, sabotage. He's able to get into places where bigger bots uh, basically are not able to. So, not too bad. Uh, now, let's go ahead and check out some of the details on this figure. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show off his face. And look at that pudding. Uh, he even has that, uh, you know, that, that that little overbite that he's got you know typical of his character uh his uh you know his, even his uh his face sculpt and head sculpt is very reminiscent of his uh beast wars uh mode you know the the rat's head for his chest very nice little robotic uh details on his arms his legs now, of course you see you know the rat feet and everything else and then of course the the backpack uh, that shows off his uh, you know certain you know organic pieces on him uh, the weapon he's got in his hand they really did a good job in sculpting that to make sure that it does look like it did in Beast Wars so very very nice um, we'll go ahead and that out just a bit Ta -da. now we're gonna go ahead and do some quick articulation so his head can can go right can look left uh, there is no up and down movement uh, his arms are on a ball joint I want to say they can go uh, up a bit uh, they can go down, but again, this is part of transformation mostly. 
uh, his elbows are on a ball joint so they can go 360 uh, there is no wrist articulation on this so there is no wrist swivel of any kind uh, there there is no ab crunch uh, his legs at least by the hips are on a ball joint so you can do the full Van Damme splits you can kick back uh, I should say kick forward he can kick back but it does hit the backpack here um, he can bend at 90 degrees it's also on a ball joint so he does have knee rotation here as well as upper thigh rotation right here again that's at the ball joint only uh, his feet are also on a ball joint so you can you know twist it to and from he can go uh, kick back go up and do you know so ankle tilt yeah so it's not bad not bad at all uh, now I'm thinking that mine's is a little stiff uh, mostly because uh, it may be just my copy I'm not complaining though I, I said before I like a figure to have a little bit of stiffness uh, so you know that it's going to not collapse under you for a very long time and uh, <clears throat> sorry I had to take a swig uh, so very very nice I really like it uh, there you go so he can do you know several different poses and whatnot now we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a size comparison here so here we have rat trap with his wave mate Cheetor and Optimus Primal and I have to say, I am very, very, I'm really liking this. It's very, it's very well done. I have no complaints whatsoever. Um, so we can focus that just a bit. There we go. And in addition, just because she does become part of the Maximal team later, we're gonna go ahead and bring out. Well, let's see if I can try and. Put Cheater back there. There we go. And there is Black Arachnia. Very nice. Um, so far, I haven't had any complaints, or I don't have any complaints about uh, Rat Trap so far. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and get these guys out of the way. And in preparation for the transformation, I went ahead and removed his weapon. So, with all that being done, let's go ahead and get started on this. So, one of the first things you are going to need to do is, number one, turn the head. So, the head also is able to turn 360, something I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, it is on a ball joint, but it is kind of stiff, especially on my copy, which I mentioned before. Certain areas, you know, should be a little stiff that will provide a long time of enjoyment in terms of transforming it and whatnot. But not to the point where it's going to wind up breaking off. I think I remember seeing a video where uh, T-Man was, uh, you know, reviewing the articulation of the, uh, the, uh, the Netflix War for Cybertron. Um hound and the head came off and I'm like oh dude that is not cool and he had his original copy of hound and it didn't do that you know so I'm like yeah so I, I, I do I know I mentioned this before whenever you're handling your your figures do be careful they are pieces of plastic and depending on their tolerances you know the last thing you want is for that to fall apart and I mean this is probably about like 10 12 15 bucks around there especially in today's economy but the thing about it is the last thing you want is to spend all that money and have it break on you so do be careful okay anyway moving on uh, so as I said before you turn the head 180 and 
that way his head is facing back. Once that is done, you're gonna go ahead and pull this tail section up. Oh, first you gotta go ahead and turn this, uh, pull this pack section down like so, then turn the tail section up. There you go. Now, uh, you're not gonna hear a click or anything, but you will feel when it's actually in there. Now, with that being done, uh, this back section here, you need to go ahead and pull that down like so. Now it is on a hinge and I do want to show you that. Let's see, so there's that hinge. You got to pull this back and let it flip open like that. This will give you the clearance, the clearance you need to pull this head back. So you're going to take a thumb, push that out and then flip it. Now once that's done, boop, there you go. That is done. Now for those that didn't see it, because more than likely I was out of camera frame. Sorry about that. So once again, you're gonna put your thumb back here on this back or your finger and then push forward. That will release the head from the chest area and then flip it like so. Then once that's done, take this back portion and there we go. So that way that becomes flush. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna go ahead and take these arms. They're on a type of rocker hinge here. So you're able to push those down. All right, and you're gonna do the same here. Once that's done, you're gonna push these in on itself. Now, there are some slots here. In addition, there's some posts here and here. So you gotta turn these arms out like that. You're gonna do the same like this. And now you're gonna go ahead and hook these on there. Make sure that they are on there. Come on, there we go. Now sometimes, there. Sometimes you have to go ahead and make sure that those are in there. Now, now we got rat trap like <laughs> a rat girl walk. <laughs> ah, all right, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, so now that that is on there, now one thing that uh, you'll notice that in order to get these, you have to bend those in so that way it's underneath the little canopy of his of his rat form. Now with that being said, you're gonna go ahead and put these legs down. You need to twist these around like so. And then you need to twist these calves so the calves one thing that I did forget to mention they do bend they're on a type of ball ball joint here which will allow you to twist and then they just connect like so so once again just like before now there we go and then of course finally the feet you gotta turn these around like so and now you have rat trap in his rat mode and not a bad looking thing you know he's not for for anyone that has never looked at any of the instructions and stuff this went surprisingly well you know uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna just change up the angles of the camera so we can see the size comparisons among his other beast formers all right there they are all lined up and everything and I'm really liking this I really am um, now of course you know we all know for any of us that grew up watching Beast Wars that you know black arachnia in this earlier form you know was a Predacon uh, but yeah, she will side on the side of good, uh, but nonetheless, 
they scale very well. I do like the scaling on that. Um, it's not bad. I'm really, it's not bad for a little figure like this. Uh, they, they did a lot of good engineering. Uh, of course, you got his hands that kind of basically either look like his butt or a set of hoozy wits. Of course, underneath you do see some robot kibble and whatnot. But all in all, it's not bad looking. I'm really liking this. Um, you know, it's it's pretty cool. So, uh, wow. Not too bad. I don't have much to say on it. It's, it's a, it is a small figure. Um, so, let me go ahead and get him transformed back up into regular robot mode. We'll go ahead and give you my final thoughts on this. Okay guys, there they are. Already transformed and whatnot. I didn't bother with Black Arachnia. Um, mostly because, I, for you know, I like her in spider mode. <laughs> I really do. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, moving on. So, I, like I said before, I, I really like this figure uh, like I say he's small he's not that uh, difficult to transform uh, the first time first couple of tries you know uh, you know during the filming of this video I had to go ahead and stop and redo it again uh, mostly because I was pretty much getting out of frame but nonetheless he's not that difficult to transform he's very simple um, I if nothing else um, just an issue with robot kibble I mean but then again they all have it it's, you know uh, when it comes down to these beast formers yeah you're gonna have some robot kibble there's no way of trying to escape it try as you might uh, however you know uh, let's see I would say on a scale of 1 through 10 I'm gonna go ahead and give him a 9 he's not bad he's small and uh, you know he, he's he's pretty fun i mean i i like it um i know you know this particular review it went by really quick it's not normal <laughs> for for me to have such a quick review unless it's action figures and you know that's just that but in essence he, you know that's what he is uh and he scales pretty well with the other beast formers uh so all in all um like I said, I'm going to give him a 9. He's not bad. The only thing I have complaints about is the robot kibble. But I can always overlook that. You know, that's not a big deal. Uh, the others have it. More than likely, when I wind up getting uh, Beast Megatron, should I be that fortunate to get it? Uh, and I probably will, since I still have him on pre-order through Hasbro Pulse. He will more than likely wind up, you know, uh, you know, coming in. So... Be on the lookout for that video. Uh, so, uh, at this point, let me ask you all. Have you been able to find him? Uh, and if so, do you like him? Do you hate him? Leave me your comments and your suggestions and whatnot in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell notification so you can be able to be up to date with any and all new videos that I put out. Uh, believe me, this will help my channel out a world of good, so be sure you do that. Uh, so at this point, I got nothing else to say. Um, so now we got the irascible rat here, and uh, this is Phoenix Draconis, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace.